Good morning. We are bringing to you today's most important news from around the world. Despite all the extraordinary efforts, the government and health system workers are still struggling to bend the curve of growing cases caused by the latest variant of the virus. Five more people died today and 30 million tested positively. Citizens are now required to wear masks when they step out to the balconies of their isolation facilities and take them off only when they are back to the safety of their rooms. Stay compliant. Stay isolated. Stay safe. And now, on to other news. As the whole planet went on the righteous crusade against climate change and global warming, we are excited to spread the word about another successful project. As science tells us, during the night, plants release CO2 into the atmosphere. CO2 is a powerful greenhouse gas that dramatically contributes to global warming. But don't worry. Almost 100,000 square miles of South American rainforest has been cleared, and this area is used to construct one of the largest solar panel fields in the world that will provide us with a tremendous amount of clean energy. We will keep fighting the deadly forests and defeat climate change. That is all for today. Stay tuned for tomorrow's news. Bruce Kowalski, your weekly food ration has arrived.
The Godfather movie is banned from our database for misrepresentation and stereotypization of the Italian community. Pulp Fiction movie is banned from our database for excessive violence and racist content. The movie 1984 never existed. Stay compliant, stay isolated, stay safe. And now, on to other news. Say goodbye to cows and beef. As you might know, cows and livestock agriculture in general is a source of methane, a powerful greenhouse gas. Cows fart, and the temperature on Earth rises one degree with each cow fart, contributing to global warming. This is why the authorities started a cow extermination program, and today the last herd of cows has been dealt with. The Earth has officially become a cow-free planet, and climate change is finally under control. You might get concerned, where would we obtain our proteins from? Chicken and pork are not commonly accessible products, and beef is gone now. Do not worry. Hundreds of alternative protein manufacturing facilities have been constructed on each continent. They process thousands of tons of protein-rich food. This alternative food contains way more protein than beef. It is cheap to cultivate and it doesn't contribute to global warming. Kudos to science and green agenda. That is all for today. Stay tuned for tomorrow's news. Bruce Kowalski. Your monthly universal basic income has been deposited into your account. For more information, press details. You have been paid 2,000 central bank digital tokens. The following fees are being deducted. Accommodation fee. Food ration fee. Recycling fee. Clean energy fee. Personal greenhouse gas emissions fee. Climate change fee. Diversity fee. Your current remaining balance is 5 central bank digital tokens, and if not spent, it will expire in 7 days. Attention! Important announcement! 
Dear residents of the quarantine facility number 89. Great news. Here at Nova Gene Labs, we grant you a chance to participate in the trials of our new drug, which has been developed by our research team. This drug is absolutely safe and will bring the end to the deadly virus we are all fighting together for the last several years. Those of you who chose to participate will get a significant social credit score boost. As the result, you will be relocated to a superior isolation facility. Receive a higher universal basic income and become eligible for an improved food ration. Should you choose to participate in the Nova Gene Labs clinical trials program, our specialist will visit you within the next few hours, make an injection, and will be daily monitoring your condition online. Your participation is very important to us and the rest of the world. Make a difference. Follow the science and make the right choice. Nova Gene Labs is not responsible for any side effects, injuries, or death followed after the injection. Sorry to hear that.
new virus that emerged in Asia a couple of months ago keeps spreading all over the world. Some countries are imposing lockdowns and stay-home orders to protect their populations from this highly contagious disease. In our country, three persons in their 90s died of the virus in long-term care facilities. The virus keeps spreading in our country. Almost 500 new cases have been registered last week. As of today, the whole country is going into a complete lockdown. The health authorities are imposing a strict stay-at-home order. While these measures are tough, they are temporary. We need only two weeks to bend the curve. The pandemic represents a rare but narrow window of opportunity to reflect, reimagine, and reset our world. Despite strict lockdowns being in place, the virus cases keep growing exponentially. The government is considering the option of proclaiming a state of emergency in some areas and relocating citizens to safe and isolated quarantine facilities. Attention all citizens. Your district is contaminated, and you will be evacuated immediately. Please take only necessary personal belongings and step outside of your homes. You will be transported to a safe isolated location.
Attention. Non-compliant resident alert. Attention. Non-compliant resident alert. Attention. Non-compliant resident alert. Attention. Non-compliant resident alert. Attention. Non-compliant resident. 